attempts of medicine and choice. But abortion is a poor choice for you. It's no choice for your baby. Baby wants to live. Baby doesn't want to die. And baby shouldn't have to suffer or die for your selfish pleasure and convenience. God's got a plan and a purpose for your child's life. He's got a purpose for your life too. But you'll never know what that purpose is while you're living in rebellion to Him. You'll never know what that child would have grown up to be. All you know for sure is that the baby's dead by your hands. And how will you explain it to Him on the Day of Judgment? What will you tell Almighty God when you stand before Him with the innocent blood of your own child on your hands? How will you explain it to Him? What excuse could you give from paying a total stranger money to rip the arms and legs off your poor little helpless son or daughter. God commands, thou shall not kill. Thou shall not kill. It's the ultimate act of violence and betrayal to pay a total stranger money to molest your child. But to kill your child is even worse. To pay a total stranger money to kill your child is, is a bottom rung on the ladder of humanity. The next step down is into hell itself. What could you do worse than pay a total stranger money to rip the arms and legs off your poor little helpless son or daughter? What could be more evil? What could be more evil than doing that? God commands Thou shall not kill. God commands, Thou shall not kill. <laughs> oh, aren't we having fun here at the abortion clinic? While children are being torn asunder, we're dancing, we're partying. Yeah, this is a real great abortion clinic, folks. This is one of the best that I've ever been to. Look at the love. Look at the love emanating off of this building, folks. What a wonderful place. Come here and kill your child, folks, and have a party. They what? They can't participate Right. Give them your money and give them your baby. But particularly, give them your baby. The devil will give you nothing for it. You sacrificed your children to devils and he gave you nothing for it. Is everybody having a good time? Killing your children? Look at folks, this is love right here. Love at this abortion clinic. Jesus would never condemn uh, abortion. Oh no! Good women have abortion. Good for nothing. It's like the sow who ate her young. Now who would want to marry a woman that kills her children? Your husband did. What good man? What good man would do, would would marry a pro-choice woman? What good man would marry a pro-choice woman? I said good man. Right. And how many children do you have? How many children did you kill? How many children did you and your husband have? What kind of marriage do you have without children? How you doing?
What good man would marry a pro-choice woman? And what good woman would marry a pro-choice man? God commands, thou shall not kill. Thou shall not kill. This is the most loving abortion clinic I've ever been to. I've never seen so much love. No greater love could a woman have than to pay a total stranger money to rip the arms and legs off her poor little baby. He just came out of there. Sir, they're killing babies in there. You're working for them. Look at what he's got here. You got three of them in that cooler, he says. I believe it. He's got babies in that cooler. Three of them, you say? Oh, I don't have. got some x-rays. X-rays? Yeah. Keep x-rays in the cooler? Yeah. They're, they're little, they go in a computer. Anything else you need to know? Yeah, what's... They make x-rays. What is Sanford, anyway? It's uh, abortion clinic help. Abortion clinic help. He came out with a cooler. He came out with a cooler, and and he said at first that you know we you know uh, um, Jason said they're killing babies in here. He says yeah I know I got three of them in here. He had a cooler, and and then he, he changed his tune when we got to the to the car. Hi, what did you just say a minute a few minutes ago? Because I heard something total. Cal says.